I'm Randy Vance. I'm the editor at large for Boating Magazine and welcome to my boat dock. I want to talk to you a little bit about covering your boat. You've got a big investment in that and what you really need to be thinking about is how you're going to protect it in the off season and during long periods of storage. When you know you've got money on the line, it's going to range from $300 to $3,000. You want to be certain of what it is you need. Well, how do you figure that out? Let's break it down for you. Obviously, your boat design will drive the first part of the decision. You may have a bow rider, a deck boat, or a pontoon, or, as in my case, a center console. Each boat design requires a specially designed cover. To some degree, that's custom. There are a number of generic ones, especially from the company called TaylorMade. But what I want to talk to you about now are the custom covers that you can find from your boat builder, like Ranger Boats. This is a 2510 bay and the full cover, which is what I need for storage during long periods of non-use, the cover is custom designed to fit this boat. Now they do that in cooperation with TaylorMade and Ranger Boats, and many of their boats have a perfectly fitting custom cover. Now a cover manufacturer partnership with a boat builder is a beautiful thing, because both have the experience to find the fine points that'll make the cover superb. What I like about the design of this cover is it has a chimney design to it. It only comes up to within about six inches of the hard top. That means all the heat and moisture escape through the top, and that keeps the boat dry and mildew free. Another thing that you'll find is they've designed in zippers so that you can access the cleats if you need to. In my case, I use the stern cleat access to run a charger cable to my battery charger. Now the cover is easy to put on. You basically use ballast if you're in a hoist like this or you tie the sides to your trailer. Once the ballast is in place, the cover will stay down around the rim. You pull it over the trolling motor and you'll see that there's heavily reinforced fabric there so that the trolling motor doesn't wear through. Or suppose you don't want a trolling motor on your boat, you need a cover that's cut just a little bit different. Once you have the ballast in place and the cover zipped together and suspended from the hard top, it's a simple matter of tightening down the strap underneath at the hem. What that does is it cinches down the fabric around the gunnel and it uses the flare of the deck and the bow to hold it on tight. One of the nicest things about this cover is the lightweight fabric. It's not a big wrestling match putting it on. And if I'm really going to be in a hurry to get in the boat, say early morning fishing the next morning, I just use the helm and leaning post cover. Those go on in a jiffy and they have a great custom fit. Check out our video on them as well. If your boat builder does not provide a custom cover for your boat, check out TaylorMade's website, AmeritexDirect.com. There they have hundreds of covers that date back to models over 20 years old and there are more than 14,000 canvas parts that may fit your boat. I'm Randy Vance, editor-at-large of Boating Magazine and you're on my dock.